and I've had my shop here for um, you know over 20 years. And I did contract work for Camillus, and when I had big projects, uh, my dad would come work for me, my brothers would come work for me, my son would work for me. I I think I had only been in management a couple of years, and they came to me and wanted me to do the 115th anniversary knife with the stag handle. So that was a project I did. I built a thousand of those 115th anniversary knives um, at home with the help of my dad and my brothers and my kids. And then I also, um, after that, I uh, took on some other projects, Pearl Damascus knives that we were doing for Remington. And the same thing, Camilla supplied all the metal parts in the pearl and I would fit all the pearl to the handles, assemble the knives, finish the knives and then send it back to the cutlery. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is thin this down to the thickness I feel will work for this particular blade. because I'm going to shape this down. I'm going to kind of cut this back so I'm close and shape this down. We'll lay this piece on here and we're going to drill this piece to match this piece. One major thing that I did do for Camillus was um, we used to buy our, our Delrin handles from a company in uh, Meriden, Connecticut called American Plastics. Dean Wallace comes to me, he calls me up in the office and says, we're sending you out to Meriden, Connecticut for four days, you're going to learn how to do our handle molds. I go, okay, well I didn't know what it involved until I got out there and I, I, I worked with this guy for four days and he showed me everything he could show me in four days and uh, from that point on I decorated every handle mold that uh, Camillus made and that included all the yellow jackets because that's when they were coming out with the yellow so they were smooth they weren't they weren't so bad but I also did uh, stag I had to do saw score I had to do jig patterns it just uh, it, it was a lot it was a lot for me to um, to take on but af after a while I, I started getting fairly decent at it and and, um, you know, it wasn't so nerve-wracking when they would come and say, oh, we got to make two handle molds uh, for this pattern or that pattern. And uh, so that, that was probably the hardest thing I ended up having to do. That's going to be the, the very front of the handle. Okay. I'm going to throw a buck on it with a buck in the wheel. Put on the blade. You know, a lot of testing has to be done on all your knife parts to, uh, you know, make sure they're going to function right. If your springs are too hard, you're going to have broken springs. If your blades are too soft, they're not going to hold an edge. So, whenever anything is heat treated, certain parts of the batch have to be tested on a Rockwell tester. And um, this machine works with a diamond tip, and it works under hydraulics. And you crank this up to a, a spot here on the uh, gauge and then you trip the lever and it actually drives this diamond into the steel to a certain point as far as it'll go and that's how it reads how hard the, the, uh, the steel is. So it's, it's good that the, uh, the pins fit nice and snug. Uh, you don't want to over, put oversized holes.
shape, I'm going to have to put a smaller contact wheel on to get in here. And then we also got to clean that up with a small wheel. But the first thing I'm going to do is take this down to a finer belt so we have a nice fine finish all the way around. a dozen knives at one time normally with something like this. That way I could do all these operations at once. I wouldn't be changing things all the time. Get all the, one set of operations done, then another set. So that way you can do a lot more knives in, in a shorter period of time. The thing is with a custom piece though, you know, in a factory environment you can get away with just like getting down to a 120 grit, but in a custom situation you want to get down to a much finer grit makes a nice smoother finish, you know, people that collect knives look for that, you know. If you're selling to collectors, you got to do a little better job than what they do in the back. business now for oh uh, I worked there for 34 years and you know five years have gone by since and I'm still in the knife business so you're talking about almost 40 years of my life actually uh, manufacturing or working with knives 